Hi everyone, Tom from X-Ray Tech here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use an app called Data Fetcher. Data Fetcher is a no-code extension for Airtable that lets you basically ask any application for data and then import that data into Airtable. For our example today, we're gonna to be using YouTube to get all of YouTube channel stats into Airtable. This will let you view and sort your stats in a convenient location where you can take advantage of all of Airtable's key features like workflow automation, customizable data views, and a whole lot more. If you'd like to learn more tips about workflow automation and no-code tools every single week, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now let's get into it. Here's what your table will look like once you've finished setting up Data Fetcher. You'll have a list of every video in your channel along with key stats like views, subscribers gained, and more. We've chosen a limited selection to keep things simple, but you'll be able to add as many fields as you'd like. With a premium data fetcher plan, you can schedule your request to run at whatever time interval you like. That means all of these fields will automatically update. If you're using a free data fetcher plan, you'll just need to click this run button to import all of the data manually each time you want to update your records. Now let's take a look at how you can build the table and configure Data Fetcher step by step. First, create a table in Airtable where you'd like to import your YouTube data. If you know all of the fields you'd like to include in the final table, you could add them here, but it's really not necessary. I personally almost always leave every field blank. You can simply have Data Fetcher create the fields for all of the imported data points for you instead. Click on Extensions in the top right. Add an extension and search for Data Fetcher. Click here to add Data Fetcher to your base. To make configuration easier, hover over Data Fetcher in your extensions panel and click on this square icon to make the panel full screen. Then click on Create Request. In Data Fetcher, a request imports data. Search for the app that you want to use. When you enter YouTube, you'll see two different options. YouTube Public Data, and YouTube Analytics. To get all of your YouTube data into Airtable, you'll need to create two separate requests, one for each of these options. We'll start with YouTube Public Data. Under Authorization, create a new connection to sign in to your YouTube account and authorize Data Fetcher. The Endpoint dropdown will give you a few options for the type of data that you want Data Fetcher to retrieve. Choose List Channel Videos to list all of the videos that have been published to a specific channel. Click on Save and Continue. Now you'll need to enter the ID of the channel you want to get data for. You can enter any public channel into this field, but if you want to expand on this data with YouTube Analytics info, you'll need to choose your own channel. Open up your YouTube channel in another browser window and copy the string of characters after slash channel slash. Paste this into the channel ID field. Choose a field to sort by, like date or view count. Then you can add a search query if you'd like to limit the results to videos on your channel that match specific keywords. We'll just leave it blank since we want to import all of our videos on our channel. Now you can choose the table and view that you want to import your data into. By default, this will be set to the table and view that you already have open, so you probably won't need to change these. Finally, if you have a paid plan, you can schedule your request to automatically run at regular intervals. Click Save and Run. Next, you'll see a table of the information that Data Fetcher retrieved. In this window, you can choose which fields you want to use and which fields you want to map them to in your Airtable base. Just uncheck fields you don't want to import. For instance, we'll uncheck default thumbnail width because it's absolutely useless. Once you've configured all of the fields to your liking, click on save and run to finish the import. Your table will now be populated with data for every video uploaded to your channel. To add statistics like video views to this data, you'll need to add a second data fetcher request for YouTube analytics data. Go back to the extensions panel and add a new data fetcher request. This time you'll choose YouTube analytics as the application. Connect with your YouTube account and click save and continue. 
Choose a date range of data you'd like to import. You can pick from several pre-configured options or enter a custom date range. Then pick the fields you'd like to import. There are dozens of options here, including likes, dislikes, shares, annotation impressions, and a lot more. You can choose any number of fields you'd like here. The split by fields let you determine how records will be divided. So if you choose day, there will be a new record for each day. If you choose video, it will create a separate record for each video, and so on. To ensure that this data maps accurately to the existing YouTube data we have, choose split by video. Next, you can add filters to limit your results. But again, we'll just leave that blank because we want all the data. To make sure that this request will update your existing records instead of creating new ones, click on Advanced Settings. Make sure that Update is selected instead of Append. Then under Update Based On Field, select Video ID. Click Save and Run, then map your fields. Click on Save and Run again, and your table will be updated with new fields. Now that your YouTube data is an Airtable, you can view and manage it all in one convenient spot. You can use views and filters to easily sort your data, use formulas to run calculations, and discover insights, or even trigger automations to run. Everything from a simple data comparison to workflow automation will be easier with all your data in Airtable. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more workflow automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about no-code and low-code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the description down below, and as always, don't forget, keep the flow.